guys, this is Mary. Today on Cards TV, we're going to make the fifth card in the series, the 12 Days of Christmas cards. And we'll be using the Art Philosophy cartridge. I love this cartridge. There are so many things in here that you can use for cards and scrapbooking and crafts. It's just an awesome cartridge. And I got this from my good friend Judy Ashmore. She is a close to my heart consultant and I'll give you a link at the end of the video. So if you're interested in art philosophy, artiste, or the new art booking cartridge, you can go over and uh, see Judy and she will fix you up with any of those or any of the great products from close to my heart. But I love this cartridge. We'll be using papers from Jelly Bean Soup. My sweet friend Deanna sent me this, and I've just been dying to use it because it's got such cute papers in it. And we're going to use two of my Cards TV stamp sets. We're going to make a gift card today. It's going to be a tent topper card, but we're going to turn it into a gift card. So from the Very Merry stamp set, we'll be using something for your stocking. And from Holly Jolly, on the inside, we're going to put, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. So let me get my paper and everything over here, and we'll get started on card number five. We'll be starting out with a piece of red cardstock, and I've cut this at four and a quarter by ten inches, and we're going to score this at four and a quarter and eight and a half. And this is going to be the base of our tent topper gift card. Now we're going to go ahead and fold it in half at the four and a quarter line. And then this next fold, we're going to fold up. And this is going to be where our gift card will go. And I'm just going to eyeball it and take this one inch circle punch and just cut a notch out right there because my gift card will be easier to get out and let's see I'm gonna go in about halfway and notch that out there we go now I'm gonna take some quarter inch score tape and put a piece on each side and then fold that up and that's going to make the pocket for the gift card to go in just like that but before I do that I want to go ahead and get my papers on the inside now from that jelly bean soup paper pad and I forgot to tell y'all this is uh, from jelly bean soup winter tortellini and spinach soup cute name I've got a piece of red and ivory gingham, and I've cut this at three and three quarters by three and three quarters, and I'm going to put that almost up to that fold line. Then I've got another piece of the red cardstock, and this was cut at three and a quarter by three and a quarter, and I'm going to move that up just like that. And for my sentiment, I've cut a piece that's three by three out of white. And I took some Memento Tuxedo Black Ink, and I used the Holly Jolly stamp set, and stamped Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. I'm going to get this adhered down, and then you see you've got a room to write your name or anything else you might like to. But we need to go ahead and do that before we put that score tape on and fold up that pocket. I've got the inside adhered down and my score tape on. And now I can go ahead and pull off the backing, and we'll go ahead and make the pocket for the gift card. And it should be just the right size. Just like that. Now we can work on the front of the card. Now for the front of the card, I've got another piece of that cute gingham, and I've cut this at 4x4. Four then I've got another piece of the red cardstock, and I cut this at three and three quarters by three and three quarters. And I'll go ahead and get this put on with my ATG gun. Next, I've cut a little border that's three quarters of an inch by 
three and three quarters of an inch. And I'm going to put that right down here, about a half an inch from the bottom of the card, just like that. Now we're going to stamp our sentiment and get that put right here on the front. So I'm going to move this over. And I found a white squishy pad. I got this in with a set of image stamps that I got from close to my heart. So I'm going to use this instead of that blue mat. And then maybe this won't make my camera go crazy like the blue one always does. But for my sentiment... I've used the Art Philosophy cartridge, and I cut out this rectangle number 8 that's on page 65, and I cut it at an inch and a quarter out of some white cardstock, and then I wanted to cut this frame out as well, so I just hit layer, and I've cut that out of some more of the gingham and this was also cut at an inch and a quarter but before I adhere these together I'm going to go ahead and use some Memento Tuxedo Black ink and I've got my sentiment from the Very Merry stamp set something for your stocking and it's already on my Fiskars stamp press so I'm going to ink this up and get this stamped and then we'll get the sentiment on the front. I think this is going to be really cute. Let me get my mat straight. There we go. Now I'm going to get some of my Scotch quick dry adhesive and get that on. That is really cute. And get this adhered to the front. And I think I'm going to have to find some buttons or something for this gift card holder as well. It just needs some buttons with gingham, right guys? <laughs> so I'll get this adhered together and I'm going to pop this up on one thickness of foam tape. And then we'll be ready to finish up our card. I've got my sentiment adhered to the front. It's popped up on one thickness of foam tape. And I did find two little black buttons and I've got those on with some glue dots. And I love that little pop of black on that red and gingham. Now my card right now is four and a quarter by four and a quarter. I want it to be four and a quarter by five and a half. So I need to add something up here to take it to five and a half. And if I look over here on my grid, you can see each square is one inch. So that's one, two, three, four and a quarter. So I can add something all the way up to this line on the grid right here and that will make it five and a half so I wanted to do two circles so I found a circle in the art philosophy cartridge on page 21 I cut a white circle at two and three quarter inches and I cut a red circle at three inches and I've got those adhered together already and I did run the white circle through my Cuddlebug Swiss Dots folder so what I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and put some adhesive on just part of the back. And I'm going to keep this lined up on my grid to find out exactly where the five and a half inch line would be. So let's count again. One, two, three, four, five, and right here is a half. So I want to get this centered from side to side, five and a half, and put my circle right about there. So let's look again. One, two, three, four, five and a half. And this is four and a quarter. Now I want to add something really cute to this, so I bet you can guess what it is. I flipped over to page 67 in the Art Philosophy cartridge, and guess what I found? Goes perfectly with the sentiment. You guessed it, it's a stocking. <laughs> so I cut one out. I think it's so cute. I used the gingham for the back part of the stocking, and then just plain white for the top, the heel, and the toe. 
Now, this is page 67, like I said, and I cut the stocking at two and three quarter inches, as well as the heel, the toe, and the top. And I've added a little button to that as well with a glue dot. And I've got this on one thickness of foam tape. And I'm going to let my little stocking just hang off just a little bit like that. And I'm going to go ahead and get this stuck down, and then we'll come back. I'll show you the finished card, and I'll show you how well this fits inside of an A2 size envelope. Here's my finished tent topper gift card holder, and I think it's just cute as can be. And you could use this for most any occasion. This one's cute for Christmas, but you could put a birthday cake on here and use it to give a gift card for a birthday. Here's the inside. Have yourself a merry little Christmas, and you can see the gift card just slides right in. And I was going to show you it fits perfectly inside an A2 size envelope. Just like that. So give this one a try, guys. It's lots of fun. I'll see you again soon with card number six. Thanks for stopping by today. Bye now.